it is about 6 15 in the morning on september 2nd hour or so we'll be heading off to pittsburgh and uh, i'm having my breakfast you saw my scrambled eggs i love my six eggs and my ezekiel toast and carve me up some more of having a second piece of ezekiel toast mm -hmm. it'd be nice one day when i can have this toast with some butter on it or something or just something to give it a little bit more flavor mm. not bad you know the little things in life can make your life a lot better and one of the little things for me is having my perfect scrambled eggs in the morning and on some mornings when i can i get up extra early and use a french press coffee I mentioned before how important this show is to me and you know, this and Daytona here are my two big concerns number one first just getting to Pittsburgh I have a tire that's somewhat worn and I'm, that's gnawing on the back of my mind and the other thing is not getting into the top five you know I put together a pretty dang good package this year and I am proud of it but the thought of going to Pittsburgh, putting in all this work, and not even placing, I have to admit it scares me. I really have to admit it does scare me. And it's something I think about a lot. You know, my coach says, I, he thinks I honestly have a shot at this, and it's gotta be through conditioning and good mandatory poses. So I just really gotta work on that a lot today. The other thing that scares me is these are potentially you know, my last shows ever and the, you know, the thought of retiring from competing scares the living hell out of me ever since I was a little kid I've wanted to be a bodybuilder and I've been living the life of doing you know getting ready for competition competing since 2015 so these past eight years and the thought of hanging up my competition shorts really really scares me aside from falling off of a cliff covered in spires while on fire is my number one way of not dying I am really frightened about what my life will be like without competition in my life. Well, here we are in Pittsburgh. We made it. And uh, we dropped my daughter off with some cousins. And my girlfriend and I are here. We are in the waiting room. And uh, when I first got here, I saw Gary Udit, which was, and I got the chance to talk to him for a little bit. You know, he's the promoter for this show. And I've talked to him a lot of times before. So unfortunately, we can't get into our hotel room until four o'clock. Athlete check-in is at four o'clock. So at least they're very close to each other. So at four, I'm just going to pop right in, get my checkout or check-in done take some pictures and uh, then we'll go up to our room and I'll show you what the goodie bag looks like. I hope they've got some good stuff in there this time. Good afternoon. I'm here in Pittsburgh at the Sheraton Square and I uh, am in the room and athlete check-in is complete. They opened up early so that was kind of nice so I'm glad I got to get that done. I got my number. I am number 46, uh, which is, there's no odd number in this. So this, I have to admit, this kind of bothers me. I wish I had an odd number. If I were 45 or 47, it would have been a lot better, but oh well, you get what you get. I did see that there are a fair number of uh, men on the, uh, on the roster for my flight. So should be good competition. And there is something I'm really, really disappointed about. And that there is, there was no goodie bag. And I would have thought that this being the Masters World Championships, there would have been some sort of goodie bag. All you got was this. Nothing else. Nothing else from the sponsors. And I have to admit, that really kind of disappoints me. Uh, I had some high expectations for this. So, 
I guess it is what it is. At 5.30, I have my tanning appointment. I get my first couple coats of tan, take some pictures after that. Then I'm gonna try to do some video editing, probably work on my journal, do something to stay nice and chill tonight. I'm hoping my coach will come up later tonight and check me out. I do need to do some posing practice. I need to go through my mandatories, just see how I look as I try to pump up. Um, I'll probably be taking in carbs every hour to try and get filled out and I'll probably take some pictures for that. Uh, so I got a lot of stuff to video and guys, I really appreciate your support with this. So, uh, um, don't forget the live stream. I'll post a picture of that as well. See you back in a little bit. All right. My first coat of tan is done and, uh, good God, I've got some bags under my eyes. Woo. I got to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> Uh, so thankfully I get to eat again at uh, 7.30 and we're just going to start pumping carbs in every hour and a half. Uh, the tan went really smooth, man. They, um, I was already so dark they only needed to spray me once. I got to show you this. I, I look so freaking classy with this on when I get my uh, hair sprayed. I mean, geez, I think I'm going to wear this out, man. This, this is a good look for me. Huh? What do you think? So I'll show you some pictures, uh, some posing pictures uh, with my first coat of tan on. And then I'm going to finish editing this video, get it published. And then I'm going to spend uh, the rest of the evening eating, posing, uh, talking to my coach and working on my journal. And tomorrow is the big day, so you know, I still have a lot of video stuff to record. I want to bring this up. Uh, I'm going to bring Patreon up again, and hopefully it will be in this corner. I have finally have some great ideas on what I'm going to be doing for my Patreon supporters. Uh, I have um, some much extended video uh, that I've done. I'm going to be posting that extended video and I'm I'm really starting to collect some better ideas on what to see but I would really like your input if you were interested in supporting me since I don't have a supplement brand or a t-shirt brand but you know at three dollars a month five dollars or a one-time donation of ten dollars tell me what you would like to know about uh, would you like to know more about nutrition super sops, you know, training, you know, why low volume training works so much better than me. I'm literally, I am a little over 10 pounds heavier than I was last year, which amazes me. That means the low volume training work. Uh, and I'm also uh, three eighths of an inch shorter. When I first started competing and 2016, they hided me in a little over 5'9", and today I was hiding in at 5'7 and 1'8". My God, I'm going to be 5'6 if I ever, if I do compete. Maybe I'll be 5'6 by the time I go to Daytona. Oh my God, I'm really shrinking. Hi. Um, the next round of YouTube video I put up on uh, long form will be um, talking about, it'll be like the morning of the show. Uh, post post tan and uh, hopefully I'll have some raw footage of me being on stage and uh, we'll go from there so you have a good evening and uh, see you tomorrow